the first time I met him, and I'll tell you the story, because I was bored keg waiter, taking political science, dropped out. Municipal election campaign going on. I phoned to Ross Alger's office, and Johnny Gray said, thank you very much, no thank you. Everybody knew Petrasic was a crook, so I phoned Ralph's office. <laughs> and he answered the phone. And I said, I'd like to come and help your campaign. He says, well, come on down. I'm across from the St. Louis Hotel. Well, I'm an upper middle class kid. I have no idea where the St. Louis Hotel is, but I, I find it, 8th Avenue and 3rd Street Southeast. So I go down to see him. And I walk in, and I said, is Ralph Klein here? He said, I'm Ralph Klein. I did not know that. <laughs> so I've said to political science classes that I talked to, I said, you know, kids don't try this at home. So I said, uh, well, what, uh, do you need help? He said, I need some help. I said, well, what can I do? He said, well, I have to go get a check from Jack Singer. And this is uh, 1980. And he said, I have to change. So, and I'm late, and this is not the last time in my life I'm going to hear Ralph Klein say, I'm running late. <laughs> So he gives me the keys to his dad's motorhome and says, you drive, I'll change. <laughs> okay. So we're rattling down 11th Avenue. I, mean, I shouldn't tell the story, I guess, with all the cameras, but I don't think Ralph would have it, uh, have it any other way. I turn around to make sure I know where Jack Singer is, and he's, uh, Ralph is at the back of the motorhome. He's naked. <laughs> he's taken off the suit he doesn't want to wear, and he hasn't put on the suit he's going to wear. He has a rum and coke, and he's having a smoke, and it's uh, 10 to 12. <laughs> now, I've known, I've known him for uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> I've been driving the motor home for 10. And I said, can you remind me again where Jack Singer's office is? And comes the classic, I have no idea where Jack Singer's office is. <laughs> Turns out it was above the old refinery on 11th Avenue and 1st Street there. And we walk in, and I'll end this one quickly because it was funny. We go up, and you know, Jack Singer was about four foot, you know, he was, exactly. We go into Jack Singer's office. This is the famous Jack Singer. He's four foot three. He's got a desk the size of an aircraft carrier. He's sitting behind it. The blinds are all drawn. The lights are low. And he's got a cigar this big. And I'm a keg waiter, and I'm thinking, I am in a movie here. <laughs> Ralph, sit down. <laughs> Ralph sits down. Who's your buddy? <laughs> Ralph says, it's a, what's your name again? <laughs> Rod, Rod, sit down. Jack, Ralph, I'm going to tell you how to be a good man. So we sit there for 40 minutes, and the smoke is billowing and everything. And then in classic Godfather fashion, he doesn't hand Ralph a check. He pushes it across the table. <laughs> I'm walking out of the old refinery saying, we are going to get arrested. Right now.